Today's tutorial, we're gonna discuss how to control transitions within vMix UTC. I'm going to show you how to manipulate transitions within vMix UTC. And like we did in the uh, audio uh, fader demonstration that I did uh, a few months back, I'm gonna take you through step by step. The first things I'm gonna show you is just background on how these things actually work and the parameters you need to set. And then uh, the last part is actually how I program uh, the buttons that we're gonna use that I actually use in my production. If you uh, have a chance, as I always ask, please stop by our website, onemanstream.com. Uh, that's where we have all of our tutorials that we've done in the past, along with the graphics that we've created along the way and the vMix UTC controllers. Uh, please drop me an email, you can always do that. I'm uh, tim at veercast.com, that's V-E-E-R-C-A-S-T. Uh, dot com. You can always drop me an email. I try to respond to most every comment. Uh, so please, if you if you want to reach out to me, please do so. So to get into today's tutorial, let's go to this right here. And behind me, uh, what you see is actually the UTC layout that we're using for today's episode. And it's a very simple layout. And I'm gonna show you uh, exactly how we do this. The very first thing I'm gonna show you is right up here at the top, uh, which is the T-bar. Let me get rid of this. And then I'm gonna show you how to add a T-bar to your layout. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna click Widget. We're gonna click T-bar. We're gonna name this T-bar, T-B-A-R. And there's a couple parameters that you can set with this. I'm gonna make it slate gray in color. Uh, you can either make it uh, vertical or horizontal. I'd, I'd prefer to have mine vertical, so I'm gonna change this to vertical. And then under mode, uh, if you hit the drop down menu here, there's two. There's one that's A, B, and the other one that's snapback. And let's resize it and bring it over here as uh, part of our layout. Okay, so right now we have it, as you can see, on A, B. Uh, one more thing that I wanna do is um, I'm gonna bring in NDI monitor. So let's go ahead and external data and then we're gonna click NDI monitor. And we'll go ahead and stretch it out and for demonstration reasons, I'm gonna make it pretty big so everyone uh, can see it. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna select output one and it'll take it a second to populate. And this is what we currently have showing in our UTC layout. This is our UTC layout that I have in program, and this is the NDI monitor. So when I come over here and I use the T-bar, as I click this up, you're gonna see where it transitions to what we have in preview. Okay, so there's a couple things that you have to keep in mind when you're setting up these transitions. There are three components uh, to their transition. The first component is the transition type. And that transition type would be uh, cut, it would be fade, it would be merge, cube zoom, roller, roller door, or all the other uh, possible ones that are already incorporated in vMix. Fly rotate, uh, vertical wipe, vertical slide, wipe reverse, slide reverse. Uh, there's a whole host of them. And you'll notice from this view right here that there are, there's quick play and there's cut. Those are, those are uh, static. And then there's one, two, three, four. There's four different transitions that if you use the drop down menu that you can change to whatever you want. That is something that's very important because when we're doing our transitions here in a minute, we have to designate it a transition number, either one, two, three, or four, uh, based on the available transitions that we have. The next component is the transition duration. Uh, we have to designate uh, the time period that we want this transition to play out. Uh, like I said, we have to choose the transition number, and that's number one through four. And then we have to, in vMix UTC, we have to bring out the transition command uh, so that these items here uh, will be uh, processed so that our transitions will work. And the so, very first thing that we're gonna do right here, where this says set wipe, is this is actually just, I went over here to widget, I clicked on button, and I created a button, and I called it set wipe. So let's look and see what I did with this button. We're gonna hit the cog here, and we're gonna look behind the button, and the command that we're using here is set transition effect, and we're going to we're going to give this the number of one. So number one is going to be the wipe effect. So again, set transition effect X, where X is the effect, 
and then the transition number that we're using is one. Okay, now let's go ahead go over here and let's click on it, click on the button, and you can see nothing is happening because all we're doing at this point is we're choosing what transition we want. So it's not doing anything, it's not playing anything out, all we're doing is setting the transition that we want. So let's come here and let's look at the second button, set duration wipe. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the duration of this transition. So let's click on the cog again. The command we're using is set duration, I'm sorry, set transition duration X, where X is the duration, which is 2000 milliseconds or two seconds. And then again, we're using this for transition one because transition one is the wipe effect that we're working with. So let's go ahead and click that button. And again, nothing happens because all we're doing by clicking this but button is setting the duration of the transition. Now, on this very first one that says set wipe, you can see where I check the execution box and next to, uh, uh, in the link, I have set wipe as the function. Under set duration wipe, let's look at this one. Again, I've checked the execute button and I have set duration wipe in the link. Let's click on wipe transition and see what happens. All right, now we have something going on. Let's look behind this button and see what we did. So what we did is we executed the link, which was set duration wipe. And this link we got from this button right here that we created. The next link was execute link set wipe. And this is when we're, uh, uh, this is when we're choosing uh, what transition we want. And then this last one was transition X and the transition is one because we're working with uh, uh, transition number one on all these white buttons that we created. So let's click this button once again. So now you can see what we did. We set up two buttons. One was we set up the transition. The other one we set up the transition uh, duration and we gave those executable links. And then under this white transition, what we did is we executed the link for the duration, we executed the link for the wipe, or to set the uh, wipe function as our transition, and then what we do is that actually we set it in motion. So we actually have three pieces of script right here. Now when I'm building these, I don't use these three buttons. I just showed you these three buttons so you can uh, kind of follow along and see the logic that we're using in order to create these transitions. This is the button that I actually used right here. So let's click wipe. And again, you can see that that wipe works. Well, let's look behind this button and this is how I actually set up my uh, transitions in production. So let's look behind here. So what I did in this one is I have, again, three pieces of script. So you have to click this script button, the plus button next to the script three times. The first one comes in at zero and then one and two. The first command is set transition duration X and I'm setting this duration to 500 milliseconds, which is basically what we did right here when we created this button. But now we're doing it directly. So we're setting transition duration at 500 milliseconds. Then we're gonna set the transition effect. The transition effect that we're using is wipe. And then the last thing that we're gonna do is we actually want to execute this transition. So we use the command transition X. And again, if you notice, under all of these, we're using transition number one, 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 and one. So let's click on that and you can see where our transition changes. Now, if we wanted to uh, increase the duration that this plays out, we would go here under set transition duration and we would change this from 500 to something else. So let's go ahead and change this to 3000 milliseconds or three seconds. Now let's go ahead and hit the white button and you can see it takes much longer for that transition to play out. But let's go ahead and put it back to what we had it at, which was 500 milliseconds. Okay, the next thing we're gonna look at is set cube zoom. So again, I'm gonna show you the path that we uh, created in order to get this to work. So under this button right here, we set transition effect X. 
And in this one, we're using transition number two, and the effect that we're using is cube zoom. I'm sorry, cube zoom. And then under this, I check the execute box, and the length that I have is set cube zoom. We click it. As you would imagine, nothing happens because all we're doing is we're setting the effect. This button right here, we're setting the duration. So let's look behind it. Set transition duration X. We set this one to 500 milliseconds or a half a second. Again, transition two. And if we go up here, we check the execute box and we have in here set duration cube zoom. If we push on this, again, nothing happens. All we're doing is setting the duration. This next one is where we start putting things together. So this is the transition. Let's click on it and you can see where the, uh, the cube zoom transition plays out. Let's look behind this button. What we did here is we executed the link set duration cube zoom, which is what we got from right here. Then it goes to the next command execute link set cube zoom which is when we chose our transition from this button right here. And then the last thing is transition X. And again, we're using it on transition number two, transition X, and this is what sets everything in motion. So we click it again, and you can see the cube zoom effect. Well, let's look at this button right here. As I mentioned a moment ago, these orange buttons are actually how I use them in my production. So let's click on cube zoom, and it works. So let's look behind this button. We went up to widget, we created a button, put it down here, then we came over here where it says script, we clicked it three times, one, two, three, and that brings in these three slots here where we can put our commands. And these are our three pieces of script uh, that we put in those boxes that we just created. The first one is set transition duration X, and we set this to a second and a half. And again, on all of these, we have transition number two, 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 and two, and that is important. Uh, the command, the second command we're going to run is set transition effect X. And what we're doing here is we're setting which transition we want to use, and this is cube zoom. And then the last command is we're executing uh, the transition. So this is transition X. We want to execute a transition of cube zoom. Over a, tra um, over a duration of a second and a half, and we want this to happen uh, with the a second transition. So we click OK. Let's click it again, and you can see where that uh, works. Okay, it's a little bit slow, so let's go ahead and change the duration from a second and a half to a half a second. So we'll change it to 500 milliseconds. We'll click OK. Let's click on the cube zoom again, and it happens much faster. Now the last one, it's following in the same footsteps as the other two that we created. The transition that we're going to select here is roller door. So set transition effect X. We're going to uh, select roller door and the transition is three. If you hit the drop down uh, button here on effect, it has all the different effects that you can set in, v in, uh, in vMix UTC that are available in vMix. So we selected roller door on transition three. This one right here. So we're setting the transition for the roller door to 500 milliseconds, which is a half a second. And again, we're using transition number three. So as we did before, you click these buttons. They are not doing anything. This one here is just setting the transition. This one is setting the duration of the transition. We click on this one right here and it plays out the roller door transition. Well, let's look and see why. On this one here, we check the execute box and it says set roller door. On this one right here, we clicked the execute box and it says set duration roller door. So then, as you can imagine on this one right here, we have these three pieces of script. Again, we created a button widget. We created, uh, we clicked the plus button three times, brought in these three uh, blank command lines. The first one we choose is execute link and it's set duration roller door. And we got that from this button right here that we previously created. 
The second command, execute link set roller door, and we got this right here from when we selected the roller door as the transition we were gonna use on number three. And then this last one is when we play out the transition and the command that we select for that is transition X, again on transition three. So let's click it, and yes, it does work. So let's look at this button right here that says roller door. And when we click it, you can see that the roller door transition effect plays out. We're gonna click on the cog to look behind the button. And these are the three pieces of script or the three different commands that we're carrying out. The first one is set transition duration X. And we've set that duration to 2000 milliseconds or two seconds. Again, it's transition number three. The second command set transition effect X what we're selecting uh, from the drop down menu for the effect is the roller door and again transition three and then the last command is what uh, puts everything in motion that's transition x and again we're using transition three and when we put all this together we get that effect right there that will conclude our tutorial for today where we showed you how to use transitions uh, that are controlled in vMix UTC. Uh, please keep your questions coming. As you can tell, a lot of uh, the tutorials that I've done lately have been from questions that I've received in my YouTube channel. Uh, so please keep those questions coming. If you like what we're doing here at uh, One Man Stream, please give us a thumbs up and a like. Make sure that you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. And please, if you can, stop by our website, onemanstream.com, where it has all of our graphics that we've created. We have a graphic store there, and most all the graphics are just a couple dollars a piece. Along with the graphics, we also have many of the vMix UTC uh, controllers as well. As always, thank you so much.